So whatever the answer I'm going to give it to you right now, it's going to be turned whichever way you want to turn it to. So does it bother me? What bothers me is um, there's real things that's going on in the world. And I don't know, are you a politician? Are you? Are you covering politics? No, I'm a sports journalist. Yes, and I'm a sports, I, and I'm an athlete. And you're asking me about things that maybe somebody says are in my control, but I don't believe that. So I don't know what you want me to answer. This is ultra easy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today's story is going to be about um, these journalists that sometimes try to trap uh, sports stars out there with some of their questions. I, I There's a lot of hidden agendas out there, and I do believe that um, even though uh, we're just out here to talk about sports, uh, sometimes... Um, Sometimes uh, the media out there asking questions will try to trap these uh, athletes in a corner and get them to answer on something. And then they'll end up twisting up their words and making them look um, controversial later on. That's how that's what they do. They'll either they can they have the power to put, put you in a good light or put you in a bad light. Uh, how about just not put uh, put yourself in any light and just maybe sort of avoid the questions if you can. And that's what happened with a uh, pro tennis star, uh, Victoria Azarenka. Um, she, I guess, was at the Australian Open and she was taking some questions. So apparently there were some pro-Russia demonstrations going on outside and uh, fellow tennis star uh, Novak Djokovic, his father, I guess, was seen uh, talking to some of these people and I guess were taking pictures with some of these uh, pro-Russian protesters. And I guess that's why the, um, the uh, reporter was asking um, Victoria um, about, uh, about this particular story. Like, Hey, what do you think about it? And, uh, Victoria didn't really want to have anything to do with it. I, I don't know what you guys want us to do about it. Like talk about it. I, I, I don't, I don't know what's, what's the goal here that, um, it's continuously brought up and, uh, this incidents that in my opinion have nothing to do with players, but somehow you keep dragging players into it. So, what's the goal here? I think you should ask yourself that question, not me. Does it, just, sorry, just to clarify on that though, does it frustrate you that, um, you know, particularly last night, for example, there was a clear sort of pro-Russian demonstration happening within the grounds of the tournament, that these people are coming and using the Australian Open as a platform for this, these kind of demonstrations? Does that frustrate you? Oh. I, the, whatever the answer I'm going to give it to you right now, it's going to be turned whichever way you want to turn it to. So does it bother me? What bothers me is... Um, there's real things that's going on in the world. And I don't know, are you a politician? Are you? Are you covering politics? No, I'm a sports journalist. Yes, and I'm a sports, I, and I'm an athlete. And you're asking me about things that maybe somebody says are in my control, but I don't believe that. So I don't know what you want me to answer. And if it's a provocative question, then you know, you can you can spin the story however you want. I mean, she says herself, like, you know, it doesn't matter what I say, because if I say something that's like just slightly uh, on the Russian side, then you guys are going to say I'm pro-Russia. If I say an, an anti-Ukraine, and if you guys, if I say anything the other way, you guys, they're just going to twist up her words. And I think these athletes are starting to wake up. I mean, especially with with Novak, uh, we call we call him in the in the uh, conservative community Novak Djokovic. Was uh, he actually uh, stood stood his ground and held the line when it came to not getting. Um, the jab and um he still to this day has not gotten and he's still winning championships i think he just won actually um but um with with everything going on um over uh i guess in you know with the whole russia thing um 
these reporters are going to try to ask questions. I mean, there's, it's a it's a big issue going on over there. And of course, if that kind of shows up at their doorstep at the Australian Open, these reporters are going to try to squeeze it out all its you know squeeze out all its worth um, when it comes to that story. Because hey, if, if if these reporters write a good story, they get promotions, they get more money, they get notoriety, they get all these different things. So. At the expense of the players, though. And that's the part that upsets me is that, you know, I don't want – and, and, and uh, Victoria here is picking up on that. Uh, and she shut it down really quick. You know, she's like, hey, you know, I'm an athlete. You're a reporter. Are you, into, are you a political reporter? She said no. So, okay, well, then don't ask me political questions. I'm an athlete. Ask me questions that have to do with the sports that I'm playing because she knows the game now. And I, I, and I really – um, this isn't just in sports. This is going to be in anywhere, but it's. I guess you can see it more in sports because politics should be the furthest thing away from sports in a sense. Um, obviously, politics creeps creeps its way into every aspect of of, of life. Um, but when it comes to that, like you, like you're not like she sees that they that they're going to try to demonize players. Look what happened with Kyrie Irving over in Brooklyn. I mean, he didn't take the jab, and man, they came off after him. The uh, the the mob came after him. And they tried to force him to get the jab, and he held the line as well. He didn't take it. He he got paid all this money. Hear that? Or I think he actually might have taken a pay cut. But the guy still has a ton of money. Yes, if he did lose money, I want to say he did um, on the away games or whatever it was, or the home games, then he took that on the chin and that's fine. It took a hit in the pocketbook, but you know what? He stood his ground. The guy still has tons of money. Um, but, I, but I like that. And I think that he's an example to how people should, should, uh, stand their ground. And, uh, if you believe in something then hold on to it. And I do like that Victoria here, she, she, she spoke her mind very strong. She was very forward, direct. She wasn't rude. She's like, Hey, let's just get on. Let's just get on with the, the, the question asking. Um, they did it with the story that I, I did, uh, uh, not too long ago with Provy, um, the uh, hockey star uh, that uh, refused to wear the uh, the pride jersey. Um, they're trying to get him. He said, hey, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll answer one question and that's it. Quit asking me. So again, same, same sort of thing. Because he knows that all they're going to try to do is try to become stars, like rock star reporters off of his name, off of his likeness. And off of his story to try to make him look bad, like he's some sort of hater, like he's some sort of bigot. No, dude, not gonna work. So I'm proud of Victoria. I'm proud of uh, Provy and uh, of uh, Ty Kyrie and all these all these sports stars of uh, uh, Novak's. Uh, uh, you know, holding the line, standing the ground. You know, um, also Cole Beasley is one of my favorite um, ex Cowboys, but uh, current Buffalo Bills wide receiver, and uh, he held the line as well. Uh, also Aaron Rodgers, I can just keep going. They're just coming to mind right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad for these guys to speak their mind because they're, they're being an example for those of us who didn't want to take the jab and that you shouldn't follow the crowd, right? Um, someone asked a while back, like, oh, what's the biggest thing? I think it was on, online somewhere and it said like, what was the biggest thing you learned uh, from the pandemic? I said, not to follow the lemmings off the cliff. I learned that. It's, that's, that's true. I saw everyone shifting in, towards one narrative when I was on the outside looking in. And I was like, what is going on here? What is happening? Everyone's in lockstep over here. I'm over here going like, okay, something's going on here. I'm not buying it. Let me ask questions. Um, that's part of one of the reasons why I started this channel. But guys, what do you guys think about uh, Victoria um, Azarenka? Do you think that she was uh, out of line for what she said to the reporter? Or do you think she, was, she did something good? Because I think that she actually was a good example to other players out there on how to... Um, talk to these reporters, you know, how to rebut them when they try to come at them but with questions that have nothing to do with their sport. Um, and, I get, and I get that, you know, that I'm mixing sports and politics in this channel. Um, but, I, you know, I guess I meant on their side of, of things um, because it's going to happen, guys. It, uh, unfortunately, the NFL, they went woke. MLB went woke. Hockey is getting woke. Every sports league is getting woke. You need to ask yourself why. You need to ask yourself why every aspect of our culture is being uh, – being getting wokenized or you know whatever um because something is going on something is um shifting and i feel it and it feels like there's something that's going there's just going to give but again we're not there yet and so <laughs> if and when it happens we'll be here to talk about it guys so thank you guys so much for watching another video on this channel please subscribe to this channel if you haven't like the video that way it uh shares uh, the algorithm or whatever you know i don't know the lingo here but it kind of helps people see the video more and whatnot and uh you know share the video if you can turn on notifications as well guys but uh yeah follow me on twitter um, Ultra Izzy, that's where you'll see all of uh, my possible coming up stories on there because I do get a lot of my information from Twitter. Um, and then I'll kind of, I'll, you know, um, go from there. But guys, as always, stay fearless and stay free. And I'll see you guys on the next one.